Hey, what's going on, guys? So today's topic um, for this vlog is shit that makes me pissed. And like, I'm probably talking more about like pet peeves in a sense, like things that like irk me and just like want to hurt people and say, I hate what you do. So where to begin on this topic? Let's see. Biggest pet peeve. Um, I will probably start from 1 to 10. Uh, number 1 being people who wear baggy pants. Jesus fucking Christ. Honestly, it looks like you're shitting your fucking pants. You're having, like, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about those really ghetto type of people too. Like, you're wearing your pants, like, below your ass. Why are you doing that? Especially if you got, like, a little skinny body you're wearing huge ass pants that you know what the fuck's the point it looks like you took a giant crap really really come on now get the fucking picture if you're if you had like this slender little slim body and you're a fucking guy honestly wear fucking pants that fit you jesus christ it's not that hard to like walk into a damn store and just see a pair of pants that have your waist in length. For Christ's sake, god damn it, start wearing right pants. Wear fitted pants. Wear something that's you. Don't wear nothing that's you know makes you look like you're taking a giant crap every fucking second of your life. Pet peeve number two. Girls who consistently tap their fingernails on a desk. Or a table or some type of object where they can like tap them on. That annoys the fuck out of me. I, I remember back in high school, like when I was taking a test, you know, it has to be quiet in the classroom and, you know, I would hear random tapping on a desk and I would be like, really? At, at first, I always thought it was a pen and I would just like look at people around my room and just be like, okay, I hope this is not a pen. Probably it is, probably it isn't. But no, it would always be some random chick tapping her nails on the fucking desk. Really, that always, like, irritated the fuck out of me. Like, I, for some reason, I always thought, you know, it had to be some form of Morse code that like, they were sending to, you know, one another or, like, to another person, like, saying, like, tap, 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 I can't get the answer to number one. Tap, 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 please help. Tap, tap, tap. Honestly that fucking irritates me like at one point I just like always wanted to like go by a girl and say oh yeah you like, you like tapping your fingernails eh and just like grabbing some random you know fingernail clippers and just clipping them all off and just telling them you know stop that shit but yeah moving on to the next one pet peeve number three people who leave lights on like really like, that, that always, like, irritated the fuck out of me. Especially, like, if I was to invite someone, you know, over to my house and, you know, we were, you know, sort of relaxed in my room and, you know, we were getting ready to leave and if they were, like, the last person, you know, I would expect them, you know, to turn off my lights. Obviously, they didn't. So, I would come, when we come back, I would look around my room and I'd be like, really, why are my lights on? And especially my TV. And I'd be like, why is my TV on? Who the fuck was down here? Jesus Christ, um, we're trying to conserve energy. We're not trying to, you know let energy like keep going to the point you know where the light bill goes up or something fuck that i am not going to take that type of shit pet peeve number four is when people chew out loud like honestly that is irritating to me like i i wish i could have said that as my number one but i mean no this is you know, this is fucking serious. I hate when I go out to eat somewhere and I'm sitting down at a table and like right next to me, there's like some jerk off who just decides to go and then he talks. Really? You, do you have any type of fucking table manners? Honestly, Jesus Christ, what the fuck has this world come to? Like, I, I never once, you know, chewed out loud at all. And, I mean, if I had to say something, it was either, oh, I'm choking, and I would cough, you know? Or, like, you know, if I need someone to give me a fucking Heimlich or something, I would, like, you know, try to talk, tell them, Heimlich, I need it now! <laughs> or something like that, you know? But not, 
So anyways, there was this one time. No, that gets my fucking nerves. Jesus Christ, have fucking manners. You're not a fucking slob. You're at a restaurant. You know, had decency, you know, to keep all that shit to yourself. Do that at your own house. Don't do that, you know, in a public area. Pet peeve number five is people on any social network who go and consistently update their statuses about their relationships. Like, okay, I mean, it, it's cute at first. I mean, you see that, you know, oh, I mean, they're a new couple, blah, blah, blah. But I mean, as the months drag on, you keep on seeing the same shit like, oh, babe, I had a great time with you. Or, oh, this was a great time with my girlfriend, blah, blah, blah. No one gives a fuck anymore. It, it was cute, like, the first couple of weeks of the first month you guys started dating. But, you know, stop that shit, damn it. No one gives a flying fuck about what you and your girlfriend did. I mean, if you're going to put leak a fucking sex tape out, leak a fucking sex tape out. Or, you know, if you're going to go ahead and leak out nude photos, do all that type of shit. That would be entertaining. But go ahead and consistently updating your status about, like, oh, I, I want to be with this girl for the rest of my life. Or, like... Oh, this girl is fucking amazing to me. Or, like, this guy is fucking amazing to me. No one gives a flying fuck. That makes me just, like, want to go ahead and block you people. Jesus Christ, why are you even on my friends list? That's, that's, that's my fucking reason. Moving on. Pet peeve number six is people who don't know how to piss right. And I'm probably speaking about the guys. Because whenever I would go to a restaurant slash little bar and grill or you know just you know a random um diner area or something like you go into the washroom and you think that you know it's all safe and good until you walk you know by a stall and you see like there's a stream of piss on the floor really do you not know how to fucking pee like is your dick like always pointing down or something or what the fuck like obviously you're if you're near the toilet or the little um port potty area Jesus Christ, it's called pissing in the hole, pissing in the toilet. Piss right there, damn it. Stop, you know, trying to fucking make a mess everywhere. It's called control it. Don't let it get out of fucking control. I'm tired of seeing that shit. Like, there was one time I went to a washroom at, um, this, I told you guys about, you know, Huck Finn in one of my videos. Um, I went to Huck Finn, I went to the washroom. Uh, the little, um area I mean that was occupied so I had to go into the stall I walked into the stall and there was all this piss on the floor and all over the toilet seat like was this person either drunk or this person has a limp dick and he can't fucking piss right that just got me pissed off I was like really god damn it you like guys you need to get your ass together on that shit I mean learn how to fucking piss in the hole I mean, you can get something in the hole, right, when you're, you know, when you're fucking. But if you can't piss in the hole, that explains a lot about you. That means you're poor. Give it the fucking picture. Number seven is people who use so much, like, beauty products, such as hair products, um, like, body fragrances, all that type of shit, such as cologne perfume too much hair gel or um like you know like all that type of shit that like makes me want to puke on you guys like too much cologne and perfume god damn it guys and girls come on you guys gotta get together please just a little spray here and there just don't overdo it and you know because you know, people have, you know, sensitive noses or, you know, they possibly be allergic to that shit. And we don't want to keep on smelling you, damn it. If anything, like, it's just a spray here, spray there, bam, you're good. Same thing like with hair gel for guys. I mean, come on, you just got to be glue, if anything. If you want to have, like, that whole, like, spiky hair effect, just one little, like, dab onto your finger and just rub it in and bam, your hair is good to go. No need to, like, overdo it and have to put, like, a clump of shit into your hand to the point where, you know, you have, like, this spiky-ass hair that makes you look like, you know, your, like, Goku or, like, Vegeta or, like, you know, anyone from Dragon Ball Z. Jesus Christ, that gets on my nerves. 
So yeah, moving on. Pet peeve number eight is people who don't know how to clean up after themselves. Like, it's disgusting when I see, you know, like people don't even know how to make it to the garbage can all the way. And I mean, they have their food, like, you know, they just drop some of their food on the floor. They, they, they don't bother cleaning it up and they expect someone else to do it. Like, really? That's fucking disgusting. Like, if... I, I understand, you know, if you had to go use the washroom and, you know, you left your um, your plate, you know, with whatever leftover food or whatever, you know, you have on there. And, you know, you, you had to use the washroom and say, oh, I'll throw it away, but you don't end up doing it. Like, I mean, really? Like, at, at first it's understandable because you have to go use the washroom, but, like, once you get out, you know, throw that shit away. I mean, no one doesn't want to see your leftover shit on a fucking, on, on the table anymore. A table is supposed to be cleaned after you're done eating, and you leave your shit, like, right there. Or, like, exactly like when people leave their dishes, their dirty-ass dishes, you know, by the sink, and, and they don't throw it into the sink, nor the, um, nor the dishwasher. Like, that is disgusting if you don't, if you can't even do that. Like, were, were you taught any manners at all, like, growing up? Did your parents, you know, grandparents, you know, uncles, aunts, did they teach you anything? I don't know. Last two, let's get them down. Pet peeve number nine is people who get sloppy, drunk, like, to the point where they can't take care of themselves and they end up, like, passing out. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you people? Like, it, it, it just fucking gives me mad. I mean, like, you know you're already passed out and you're at a fucking club or you're at you know a party or something what was the point of you being there then if you just like clocked out before everybody else that i don't know that that sort of like gets me mad sometimes like it's, especially if you do it on a on a continuous basis like it just makes me just want to like not want to hang around with you anymore and i mean i do have friends who do that but i mean i i willingly help them because I don't want to look like a douchebag. But I mean, at, at some point it does get very annoying and does make me just like want to like just tell them stop. Stop drinking already. You can't control your alcohol. Just stop drinking, please. And number 10 would have to be parents who hit their children for no apparent reason. Like that really appalls me in every manner of sense like why are you hitting your kid for no apparent fucking reason like what the hell did they do to you obviously you know if you're having a bad day and everything you're not supposed to take it on your kids what the hell are your fucking children you're supposed to you know love and take care of them not fucking beat the crap out of them and make them cry and make them feel fucking miserable for the rest of their lives like that they're just stupid. God. Like, honestly, like, people who do that are, like, not fit parents or they should not be around children at all. They should just, like, get locked up or something. That really fucking, like, makes me want to hit a bitch or an asshole or a motherfucker. God, people these days, like, honestly, like, if a kid's, like, five years old and you're, like, hitting them, like, what does that show? That shows that you're weak. And you don't know how to, you know, control your fucking anger. You know, there are anger management classes for these, you know, for those type of people. So take them while you still can before you become a straight up legitimate asshole in a fucking jail getting your ass beat. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys had a really good time and probably a good couple of laughs seeing um, my 10 biggest uh, pet peeves. And if you guys wouldn't mind doing me a favor and subscribing to this channel for my daily vlogs. Also liking this video and leaving me a comment in the comment section below. So with further ado, salutes and catch you later.